Even though he has a physical like brick and mortar office, he was saying that you are not required to come into the office. He said you can work wherever you want, whenever you want, because at the end of the day, this is your business, is basically how he presented it to me. And he said, what you put in is what you're going to get in the end. I think that is also part of the reason why three of those agents were not active in the office and everything. So, um, yeah, I really like that. He said, you know, pretty much everyone on the team does not really come into the office except for those one to two days out of the year where it is mandatory because of the uh, team training, team course that he'll kind of teach um, in the office. And especially once you get signed up and get all of the software and materials, everything's pretty much all in one place. They're not all these different apps you need to download and all that. It's all literally in one place application which is nice so yeah um that's where i am with that and then hopefully at some point i can start getting ready to do like a little photo shoot so i can get like an instagram page put together do all of my social media pages um so yeah get glammed and cute have my hair looking a lot more decent than this little bun i have going on today yeah i got a messy bun today so don't don't mind Anyway, so now that I'm done with that process, um, I definitely feel relieved and I, I don't know, like for me, what I was really looking at in terms of like all the pros and cons is that with working with the lady, um, her team, she told me, I believe she had about 15 agents but on her website there was only like four people so i don't know maybe that means all the rest of them are not active or maybe they have moved on and gone on elsewhere i'm not sure so that um i don't want to say it was off-putting but it just kind of threw me off because over the phone she was like oh yeah i have about like 15 agents under me under you know on my team but on your website there was only four so i don't know and then aside from that you know there wasn't a lot of diversity in the office as far as the team so that felt a little like i don't know if concerning is the right word i mean it is 2024 and i know like not everyone's gonna have a lot of diversity but i also feel like in 2024 we should have more diversity work with her or i don't know I don't know there could be a lot of reasons why it's it was that way but that just kind of felt off-putting to me the more I thought about my decision over the weekend and also I think having a lot of presence and awareness for your brand is super important whether you're working in real estate or any entrepreneurial type of business but the brokerage itself did not have its own Instagram page and I did not understand that. So I don't know if she's just very old fashioned. Maybe she just didn't feel like putting one together. 
and then I thought maybe I could be a good asset to her brokerage in that sense because I am younger and have that knowledge and experience with social media and maybe I could have over time helped her by putting together some social media pages for the office but that is what I was thinking in my head when I was still considering to go with her company. Well, I was just like, mm, I don't know about that. And I'm not saying I was looking for a brokerage company to join that has millions and millions of followers. I wasn't looking for that. But you need to have some sort of an on, a good online presence, especially to be in this industry. Like, People need to know you're out there, know that your brokerage company exists, know your team, know you as a broker, and I just wasn't really getting that from her and her company. I feel like in the end, my gut is telling me to give this brokerage company um, a chance and opportunity, and I just felt like it felt right when I walked through the door with him. It wasn't a moment right then and there where I was like, oh, this is this is who I'm going with. But when I walked in the door of his office, right in the front, all of his agents on his team were displayed on their and their business card photos and their names. I really liked that. And I got to see how diverse his team is and, and everything. And I thought that was cool. And he's also on the local Board of Realtors Association here in the county. So I also thought that was really neat as well. And I just had pretty good vibes from him. And I was like, I really needed time to think about it because I was kind of like feeling a little bit confused here over the weekend after meeting with him because I initially thought I was gonna go with the lady that I spoke with over the phone. She and I did not do a meetup in person, but we pretty much had our full conversation over the phone and I took notes and everything like that. Whereas with him, we spoke briefly over the phone and he wanted to definitely do a formal like meeting in person with slash interview. He, the last thing he pretty much said to me before he shook my hand again is that he told me that he just wholeheartedly believed that I will be a great realtor and that I'm going to do very well in the industry. And I think that speaks volume, especially when you're meeting a broker for the first time and they don't really know you quite well just yet, like you guys have literally just met. So for him to have already said that and spoke highly of me in that, in that way, it really stood out to me as well. Um, I didn't get that from the lady I spoke with over the phone, but she was so kind-hearted, so down-to-earth for a broker. Like, she didn't sound, like, full of herself. She didn't sound arrogant.
to join New Way Realty or um, my brokerage team. I am very excited about the opportunity and very hopeful that my real estate journey is a great success and a great start here with this brokerage. I have not met um, all of the team just yet, but I'm very excited and looking forward to what's to come. I set up my email tonight and now I have to work on making my social media pages and handles and all that so that's gonna be fun I'm gonna work on that tonight too I have some more paperwork I need to do tonight and get sent over to my broker and I'm gonna make sure he gets it tomorrow for sure and then between tomorrow and Friday, I will kick off working on the modules and my learning hub stuff that's all online. So we will see how that goes. I'm excited. Looking forward to it. I know today has been a rough day just dealing with some stuff with our property in Florida, but gotta keep pushing, keep going. So stay tuned for the next episode of the entrepreneurial vlog or my real estate vlog and make sure you subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.